Mercedes has signed Andrea Kimi Antonelli as Lewis Hamilton's replacement. Autosprint has claimed that Antonelli has already signed a contract to race for Mercedes from next season, with the team planning to confirm the deal ahead of the Monza race on September 1. The Italian driver stepped up to F2 this season, skipping FIA F3 entirely, and already has the requisite FIA super license points to race in F1. After a slow start to the season with the struggling Prema team, Antonelli's talent has come to the fore in recent weeks with the Bologna-born starlet winning in Britain and Hungary. Although Mercedes had harbored hopes of securing Verstappen's signature, Antonelli had long been regarded as the overwhelming favorite to succeed Hamilton for F1 2025. However, the writing has been on the wall for some time, despite Toto Wolff's faint hope of landing Max Verstappen for 2025 ultimately delaying the decision. Wolff will retain the hope of signing Verstappen in the future, potentially as early as 2026. At the moment, it will be Antonelli and Russell at Mercedes next season. According to ESPN, Red Bull is considering reverting back Sergio Perez's car spec from the early part of the year. That, in essence, would mean taking upgrades off his RB20. There's a school of thought that they've made the car more difficult to drive, rather than faster. Perez seemed to be comfortable in March and April, notching four podiums in five races. Red Bull has been accused of breaking the golden rules of this generation of cars by piling on downforce at the expense of a stable aerodynamic platform. Perez dropped from the front row to seventh place in Spa after he complained about the car balance and tire degradation. While Verstappen also failed to progress from 10th on the grid having previously gone from 14th to the lead after 12 laps at the same circuit. Many of the problems facing Red Bull with the current specification of their RB20 were on display at the Hungarian GP. The team brought a new higher downforce specification of the car, but it still produced the bouncing problems often faced by teams when they run their cars with a low ride height. Writing for German outlet Speedweek, Dr. Helmut Marko has now confirmed September as the deadline for Red Bull to make its decision, with the organization seeming to be committed to Liam Lawson. Lawson has reportedly caught the eye of Audi back Sauber, who also have a seat free for 2025, but cannot move to sign the Kiwi until his Red Bull future is resolved.